Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm going to do another Crash of Clans. This is part 24, and today I'm going to do a little bit of retraction of part 23 regarding the Smarter Revenge. Uh, according to YouTubers, uh, Point Blank 2014, Salitus, Salitin, Ron, Lim, Ferro, X, Y, Loss, Astra 21, and my uh, and Mega Pu 321, and fellow clans mates member Contrive, uh, actually uh, make aware to me that of this uh, button called Visit, uh, a visit button that you can actually press to visit the people that you want to revenge and you have all the time you want to analyze their base regardless of uh, you know there's no any time limits and all that you can even check out all the ranges of all the tower that they have placed and find out where is a weak spot of the base plus you can also find out is there any reinforcement in the clan castle and of course estimate how long have they been uh, offline by checking their gold mine or elixir collector and see how much has been collected. However, there. of course, uh, you have to uh, tap on the revenge button and find out if they are available in the first place before visiting them. Otherwise, you'll be wasting your time. Okay, there's one question from Facebook group uh, or YouTube actually asked me to create town hall designs or uh, village designs from town hall level 1 to 8, for example. However, uh, I'd like to answer this question, is not all the design are flawless. There's no perfect design uh, because every design has its own flaws, again, different type of troops. So if you want the best design, it depends on your preference. You want more trophies or you want to loot more and protect your resource instead. Uh, there are some, many people have actually sacrificed their resources, their storage, elixir storage and gold storage outside the wall. Um, to protect the trophies, which sometimes I find it a little bit uh, odd, but um, it, it does work in some time, some cases in the high uh, town hall levels and high uh, you know trophy players actually does that and actually it probably works because of their X bow or high tower defense. However, uh, I would suggest people who have a low level town hall uh, try to have a conservative kind of design. You need to find out uh, what is the current trend in your town hall levels, your trophy levels, what is the current trend that people use to attack. For example, the trends for lower town hall levels is the, the cheaper units like the archer, barbarians and goblins, then you have to protect against such troops. Uh, if you are higher town hall levels, you have um, you know, balloons, wizards and uh, maybe uh, giant attack, then you have to protect against such troops. If you have even higher uh, trophy levels, then you will have to protect against uh, Becca and dragons. So different tro trophy levels, you have to protect against different kind of enemy. So you have to design accordingly. So you do not have a fixed kind of uh, design to, to uh, protect against any kind of troops. There's, there's no such design at all. There's different uh, trophy levels, different design, and you have to uh, uh, accustom to that kind of uh, design uh, format. Well, basically that's it for this Crash of Clan part 24. And I'd like to thank everyone that have commented in the YouTube and in the Facebook and Google+. Plus. If you want to see the rest of the Crash of Clan videos, remember to subscribe to this channel at youtube.com slash simon 788 or go to uh, simonvideo.com slash coc. Thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much. Hey, you still here? Some bonus content for you. Okay, from here you can see that uh, this space is a huge amount of elixir and I prepared a pretty expensive uh, range of troops. Uh, from here, the outside the army camps is actually uh, quite far away from the defense. I can actually put some archers to clear them off right now. And the air defense is actually quite exposed at the bottom center. So I'm going to uh, break the wall using wall breakers and a few giants to clear the air defense before I can release the uh, healer and dragons. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, barbarians, archers and goblins as usual in the farming videos I've shown that it works in a short burst and uh, my healer is just uh, released and it's going to heal my giants and some of my uh, archers and barbarians. 
Uh, I'm gonna release my uh, the the dragon is released and it's actually cleaning off the the buildings one by one. Uh, one mistake I've uh, done is I I shouldn't have uh, released all my barbarians and archers and goblins. Uh, I shouldn't have released everything, uh, because if in any event the buildings are not cleared off in the last few seconds, you still have some available troops to uh, clean up the rest of the troops at the correct location. Well, basically that's it for this uh, video and I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching Simon's video and have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.